Well, for more on this, let's go to Francisco Diego, who's a lecturer of physics and astronomy at the University College London. Great to have you back with us, Professor. A successful landing, as we heard there, from officials at NASA after the Starliner managed to land back on Earth autonomously. But of course, it wasn't as successful as it should have been, and that was originally supposed to be an eight-day mission bringing back the two astronauts. What do you think is the upshot of today's events? Is Star uh, Boeing's attempts to launch spacecraft doomed at this point? Uh, uh, well, I don't think so. I mean, this was a test flight. Uh, they're having a lot of problems with the thrusters. I understand they're having some corrosion in some of the pipes because of uh, the high level of oxy oxy oxidant they use in these uh, thrusters. If it has contact with uh, some kind of atmospheric moisture or something, there is some corrosion and that produces leaks in the helium, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There are some problems there that need to be sorted out, but no, no, no not at all. Have to examine the uh, the history of space exploration. There are always things like this, and eventually uh, the spacecraft are successful. Successful. Uh, this uh, Starliner landed safely in the uh, immaculate uh, display of, uh, of of operation, and it was uh, it was success successful. From and will allow the technicians to examine what is wrong with these thrusters there once they recover the capsule and examine it more more carefully. Now. I there is a, a little uh, problem here in the design of this system because, uh, as we see in these images, the capsule is at the very top, and before below the capsule there is the service module, which also carries thrusters. And those thrusters are lost because this service module was destroyed at the re-entry in the atmosphere. So that is a kind of evidence that uh, may have given some more clues about it, and it has been destroyed in the re-entry. But I'm not quite sure which kind of thrusters are the, 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 the problem was the ones that we see here on the left of the spacecraft in this uh, uh, top of the, of, the, of the spacecraft now that carries with the, with the spacecraft as it goes into the space station. And that service module will stay there uh, until the re-entry. So that is, the, that is a problem that uh, may appear or not. I don't know, the design may have to be revised at that level. Yes. But uh, not that, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that this is a, a, a kind of complete failure. OK, uh, but as you say, uh, this uh, spacecraft was plagued with problems soon after it launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida on June the 5th. Uh, you mentioned there that it had experienced leaks of helium, which pushes fuel into the propulsion system. Uh, several of his thrusters also didn't work properly. Why was this not tested before? Or if, if it had to be tested in space, why was it carrying humans? Uh, yes, exactly. There have been uh, previous flights uh, to the space station that were uh, OK, but there were all these problems with the thrusters. And I agree. It was a, a, a bit of a risk to to launch the spacecraft, uh, having problems with the thrusters. Even a few months back, uh, uh, there were some problems as well with the uh, uh, leaks of helium and all that and all that. So the um, demos, demos uh, yes, it was not, uh, I, I think I, I agree with you. They are going ahead into space with, uh, with astronauts in these conditions. I think it was very risky. Luckily, the situation uh, was not uh, was has been rescued, and there is no uh, major problems uh, in the way of uh, of a human uh, danger. But um, and then they will come safely, I hope, in the in the next few months when the when the spacecraft uh, when the SpaceX uh, Crew Dragon comes and, and brings them back. But uh, yes, I agree with you. It was a bit risky, and all these uh, decisions have to be revised and see what was the, uh, the the problem and make the decision to launch astronauts in these conditions. OK, uh, Francisco, Diego, we will have to leave it there. But uh, of course, we'll be keeping a close eye on the astronauts remain on the ISS. But thank you so much again for joining us on the programme. It's a pleasure.